Ever since President Trump was elected, the left has been doing their best to thwart his America First agenda. Instead of these open-minded individuals accepting President Trump and his plans to put the country back on the right track they are still kicking and screaming like toddlers being refused a toy. That has been evident in the way that the left has been doing all they can to destroy Trump and his plan to make America great again. If they are not accusing Trump and his team of racism and bigotry, they are spreading lies about Russian collusion and pushing for his impeachment without any real crime committed. And, now these vengeful liberals have taken their contempt for Trump one step further with a series of laws passed meant to tick off the commander-in-chief. We all know the left would not slink away quietly after the election but would do their best to try and destroy the nation with their liberal policies. One state in the union that is dead set on returning to conservative principles is the state of California which was evident in the new laws rolled out on January 1, 2018. Just yesterday, California implemented more changes in their already socialist state that would make Karl Marx proud. In a snub to President Trump, the predominantly blue state has decided to ignore immigration laws, increase the minimum wage is allowing made-up genders on documents, and has declared that schools cannot determine if they will be gun-free zones or not. Here is more from Daily Wire. Schools will no longer be allowed to decide whether or not they're gun-free zones, because the legislature has decided for them. AB 424 says school administrators can no longer permit employees with concealed carry permits to conceal and carry firearms on campus. Which means the only people with guns on campus will be criminals and campus police, who more often than not can only respond to shootings, not prevent them. Not only has the state of California attacked the right of the people to protect themselves on school property, but they have also made it illegal to have gun ammo shipped directly to residents in the blue state. A new law passed states that if a resident in California purchases ammo, it must be sent to an approved firearms dealer with a federal firearms license, and the purchaser must pick it up in person. Then, beginning in 2019, that law expands to the purchaser submitting to a background check for the ammo before being able to bring it home. Here is more from the Daily Caller. California's new restrictions on ammunition are set to take effect in January, making it harder to purchase, sell and transport bullets. Proposition 63 was passed in 2016 and makes it illegal to sell ammunition without a license from the Department of Justice, NBC News reports. Any ammo purchased over the Internet would also be required to be sold through a licensed dealer, who would then deliver it directly to the buyer. The measure also prohibits driving ammunition across state lines and institutes background checks for anyone looking to purchase bullets. The law requires sellers to track ammo sales electronically and submit records to the DOJ to be stored in the ammunition purchase records file. Ammunition is defined by the law as one or more loaded cartridges consisting of a primed case, propellant, and with one or more projectiles, according to NBC News. Exceptions to the law are granted for peace officers, licensed dealers, and collectors. State gun owners must also now report any stolen firearms within five days or face a fine from the state. The National Rifle Association sent a letter to California Attorney General Xavier Benchera and the California Department of Justice last week asking for a stay of the law, citing serious concerns over procedure. The letter argues a delay in the law's implementation would not be unprecedented and claims it would be impossible for every Californian ammunition vendor to comply with the new regulations in time for the January 1st deadline. The left is doing all that they can to water down our Second Amendment rights and will not stop till they disarm the country. For the state to prevent gun owners from protecting themselves and the ones they love on school property is a clear violation of our right to bear arms, and it needs to stop. However, the issue is that the people in the state of California voted for these laws, and now it will take a miracle for them not to be enacted. Of course, 
President Trump can speak out against these atrocious acts, but until the people of California get sick of it they will continue, and, if we are not careful, it will spread to the rest of the country. The country.